Roger Ebert's Film Festival began last night in downtown Champaign. The Virginia Theater hosts the event for the 18th straight year, and tickets for opening night were sold out. Festival passes are still available for purchase, and movies will be running all day through Sunday. Mark Williams, a volunteer usher since the first festival, enjoys the publicity. It brings a lot of uh, outside attention, uh, which is good. People from all over the world know about Champaign and know about the Virginia Theater. People from all over the country come to watch the movies, but just as many show up to volunteer their time. Taking tickets and making the number one concession seller on opening night, popcorn. The Roger Ebert Film Festival screens 12 films over a five-day period, with the premiere Wednesday night of Guillermo del Toro's Crimson Peak. Tonight's film begins at 8.30 p.m. and stars Orson Welles in the 1949 film The Third Man. A question and answer session will follow each film, allowing the community to ask directors about the films. Festival coordinator Casey Ludwig says the festival is about the community and its members. The festival wouldn't be possible without the community. Um, the way that so many people have gotten behind it and are involved and are excited about it is what makes the festival so special. The Champaign-Urbana community filled the seats last night, and the theater projects the same throughout the week. Mark Williams credits the festival for this family atmosphere. It brought this great feeling of family and unity and, and uh, uh, cohesiveness and people come here and enjoy the theater and just have a wonderful time being in a group of 1,500 people watching great movies. The final film of the festival, Body and Soul, is a silent film accompanied by a live jazz orchestra which will air Sunday at noon. In Champaign, I'm Stephen Bardwell, UI 7 News.